Hi there, Diesel Johnny Boy here again. Now this is part two of the um, the one inch hydraulic ram pump constructed out of galvanised steel parts. So you saw me building the pump. Now we're going to see the pump actually working. I'll just go over the parts going quickly. The only plastic parts here are the pressure chamber, which is constructed out of the 40 mil waste pipe and the two ball check valves, the outlet half inch and the inlet one inch and the, uh, the compression coupling here. The rest is constructed out of galvanised pipe parts and brass which is the two swing check valves. This swing check valve is in use as our impetus valve and that is our one way valve. There's a little snifter valve here, which you'll see running in a minute. For this demonstration I've got the half inch hose pipe going up, right up the top of there. You can about see it up there, right up the top of the tree. Got it up an old eucalypt as hard as I can get it. My inlet isn't very good really. It's 20mm poly pipe. Ideally this should be steel as I've discussed earlier in the other videos. This is 20 mil poly pipe. Really, this is a one inch pipe, so I should be using 25 mil poly pipe, but I haven't got any at the moment. And it's linked in. This is, got to pretend this is my stream. I'm afraid all I've got here is a water butt. Maybe one day I'll have a stream, but right now, a uh, water butt up on the shed roof. Now there it is, there you can see there's quite a difference in the outlet and the inlet heights. Yeah, that's right up the tree up there. This is just on the shed roof. Uh, this pipe, like I say, should be steel because steel transmits the pressure wave far better. This isn't really anchored down that well, but for our demonstration, this will do the job. Okay, there we go. So the water's switched on on the drum up there. I'm going to switch it on here now on the pump itself. The outlet, keep the outlet switched off. And we build pressure up. So here we go. Let's turn it on. There we go. Now the pump has started pumping. As you can see, there's a swing check valve it being in shutting. Now sometimes you have to do a little bit of fiddling around on these. Sometimes on this one, I'll just shut it off for a second. As you can see, I've, I've put a bit of lead on this one here. You can't quite see me now. There's a on the flapper. There's a little brass screw, and you can add. On, not they don't always have these, but the Team X ones have a little screw, a brass screw, and you can change the weights on there. You can put a bit of lead on it, cut off a little bit of wet lead or some washers, and that'll help the valve drop down, the flap, flap will drop down a bit quicker. It all turns on how much pressure you've got coming in your inlet. So I'll switch her back on again. And there she goes, pumping away. I can feel the pulse inside the pressure chamber as the and the pressure should be building up gradually now. I'll just get you to get a better overview of the pump. And you can see the snifter valve here. I'll get in there, you can see a little snifter there. Now there's a jet of water coming out there, but on it also it's sucking a bit of air in, which is helping pressurise your chamber so you won't get it waterlogged. I've seen some of the American ram pumps use something called closed cell foam. I don't actually know what that is, but if you pack this up with some sort of closed cell foam, whatever that is, I'm not sure what that is, you don't need the snifter valve. Or you can put like a bit of an inner tube in there and that'll stop it becoming waterlogged. But I've kept to the original sort of design using a snifter, which is basically just a tiny little hole drilled in there. And that just, like I say, sucks in a little bit of air, stops the air vessel getting waterlogged. Right, anyway, let's switch the outlet on now. Oh, there we go. And the water is coming out immediately. It's difficult to see right up there. But you can see the water splashing down in the pond. So she's pumping about probably about 15 foot at a guess maybe 12 or 15 foot higher than the, than the inlet 
and uh, it's got quite a good steady stream coming out there so that's pretty good there we go and she's still pumping away nicely there I'll turn it on a little bit more There we go, yeah, doing really well, pumping nicely. Like I said, ideally this should be a 25mm inlet. Your inlet should be the same size as your pipe body, so this is like an inch 25mm pump. We've only got a 20mm input. Okay, there we go, so yeah, that's a success I think. Very pleased with that. That's got a good bit of water coming out up there. I'm sorry if you can't see it, this thing doesn't zoom in. But, but she's pumping beautiful. Okay, so yeah, any comments? Leave your comments and uh, if you want to build your pump, check out the other video because that gives you all the pump parts and uh, the little instructions on how it assembles and where you can get your parts from. Tmex Express, www.tmexexpress. They're the people to get your parts from based in Kent in the UK. Well that's Diesel Jolly Boy signing out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.